Hey there, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Guru. I was speaking to a prospect last week, and one of the questions that I always am curious to know is just simply, so where do you get your referrals from right now? How many do you get? Is it sustainable? Do you want more? Do you not need more? Because without knowing that, there's nothing we can do in terms of helping create a plan. But like many of the times, the answer didn't surprise me. The answer was simply, well, I don't get many referrals because I don't have very many clients right now. I'm gonna to come to why that's a problem and how you can change that straight away. Hey, if you're not part of our Million Dollar Referral Network free Facebook group, make sure you jump over, search the Million Dollar Referral Network or click on the link in the description below and come learn how to grow your business through referrals, through your networks and through partnerships. So what's wrong with this thinking? Why is it that we think that we can only get referrals from clients? It's because that's what the majority of people talk about. Where in fact, to me, it's like the cherry on top. We shouldn't rely on referrals from our clients. That's the cherry on top. There are so many other ways to be able to get referrals. And if you therefore have very few clients, or therefore you're just starting, or therefore you don't have a great relationship with your clients, you don't have to rely on client referrals. And our business should never have to rely on client referrals. So the first thing we've got the ability to do is go, how do we build referral sources? How do we find people who sell to the same people we sell to, we don't compete with one another, and how do we collaborate and team up and do things with them? Now that's part of our accelerator number one in building out our million dollar referral system that we do through our implementation program and through Partnership Club. But the simple things you can take away and you can start doing right now is start creating a list of all the potential referral sources you have. Like if you're a local business, look at all the other local businesses around you who sell to the same people you sell to. If you're an online business, really easy. Look at all the other types of businesses that sell to the same people you sell to that are also online. If you're some sort of consultant and you can pretty much work anywhere around the globe, well, you've got no excuse because you've got billions of people that you could team up with. See, it doesn't matter what sort of business you have, there are other businesses that sell to the same clients you sell to. And therefore, they all have the potential to be a referral source. Now, we've got these simple little four steps. First, you've got to identify. Second, you've got to ask. Third, you've got to have a conversation to make sure that there's the right fit or not. And then finally, you've got to put in place an action plan so you start helping one another. The reason why most referral relationships fizzle out and die is simply because there's not a structure or a process to follow. Therefore, it all becomes too hard. Therefore, it's like throwing mud at the wall hoping that it sticks. Therefore, it's like, well, you do the same sort of thing, or you have the same clients, I have the same sort of clients, how about we do things together, great, and now we sit for the next month or two twiddling our thumbs, hoping that something happens. See, unfortunately, none of that ever works. It's like the, the <laughs> without being unkind here, it's like the, the no clue business coaches who go, oh, go to your current clients, and just ask them, do they know people who also have the pain point that they had that they could give you their name and number? I couldn't think of anything more stupid because human behavior, the way our brain works, the way society is, there are so many flaws to that in why that won't work. So let's not even worry about, like Accelerator 3, is systemizing client referrals. There's a whole process and we've spoken about this so many different times and there's some great training over in our Million Dollar Referral Network free Facebook group. So go over and jump into there around systemizing client referrals. But for this particular one, how do you get referrals without even having to ask your clients? And that's what building referral sources is all about. And to be honest, you could have five to 10 referral sources in the next week. 
It's just how much of a priority is it? And is it something that you want to do? Now, if getting more business without having to spend money on paid marketing is a priority, well, this is a pretty easy way to be able to do that. And it certainly is a lot less effort than having to put up a video every single day on social media or having to go through thousands of groups commenting, liking, having to be able to uh, put up blogs, promote them. Like, yes, that works organically, but it's really slow. We just did a podcast yesterday with a partner. Overnight, there's 32 warm, qualified leads who have made a choice to come to us from one podcast. Now, it's not difficult to grow a business when you've got referral sources that you create action plans with and do great things with. So hopefully that's been helpful. Hopefully that answers that question. Sure, getting referrals from clients is a good thing, but don't see it as the be all and end all and something that has to happen first. As I said, I reckon it's a cherry on top and see it like the cherry on top. Make sure you come join us in our Million Dollar Referral Network free Facebook group. Wherever you're watching this, leave me a comment below. Let me know what's your big insight. What was your takeaway? If you think you've got people in your network that would love to be able to hear this, make sure you hit the share button and share this out to your networks. Hey, this is all about how do we, as a business community, make a bigger impact so that more people can grow their business, get more clients, help more people, and in the end, our business worlds have to be better off. Okay, till next time, guys. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. See you later, all.